Di Casa Esmeralda, and today there's a few things I'm kind of vlogging, and I just got back from the farmer's warehouse, and uh, they uh, they had uh, they have bins there which don't make it to the supermarket, and there was a bin uh, by the warehouse, and uh, there's a watermelon, and Simona is is already beyond past eating it. It was a good watermelon, hey Simona, and all the dogs were here. So it's a good way to deworm, anti-parasite your dog. And uh, Simona looks like she's full. Oh, uh, for now, she's gonna probably have some later on today when the 35, 36 Celsius heat right now kind of calms itself down. She's still chowing away. I think out of all my dogs, uh, Simona has been the one that's never been sick. I think Lati, Giuseppe, uh, Bruno had a little bit of uh, a hot head a couple of weeks ago when Lati here was sick. So it's all good. But I, she's Bruno, Simona here. She's the she's the one that's the the fruitarian and uh, anti parasitic because watermelon seeds are anti parasitic. Oh, Lati's going at it a bit more again. Ain't ya, huh, Simona? You've never been sick. I don't have never taken you to the vet. And you even delivered your own puppies and everything, huh? Remember when you had puppies? You delivered all your puppies, huh? You did all mostly yourself. You, well, you did two. You did two on your own, and I did the other three. Right? Yeah. So, Lutti's still going at it a little bit. Brew now! Brew now! Here comes Giuseppe. <laughs> so these are my dogs. This is Giuseppe. Trying to find the five month old puppy Bruno. He's kind of skeptic. And then I want to show something else again, which has been happening around here. Bruno! Bruno! Gotta give my automatic watering system a little hit here for 10 minutes. I really like this uh, um, this watering system. This is really nice. It goes one and two, so then it does one line for 10 minutes and one line, another one for 10 minutes. If, if you've seen this, um, I can't. Oh, it's an orbit. So it's an orbit, and I really like this. Um, I wish I, I, I had like actually six now because I'm expanding the back garden and the chickens are working at, at the pile. So the chickens are really working at the hay and they're preparing the hay for the bins, which is nice. And I'm going to show you some. And I went, uh, I did a little Jira, as they say around here in the Adriatic, to some of my neighbors and stuff. And, and there's all this fruit. There's some really nice pears, and I want to get on to um, today doing um, some canning again. And there's some really nice, really nice juicy, these ap apricots, look at this. Look at these apricots here. I'm going to have one. Mmm. Mmm. I couldn't stop eating them, but it's only a 10 minute drive, right? Then I don't have any apricot jam. Mmm. Mmm. So, I got pears and I got apricots. I got these really nice, these are the really nice canning. Uh, these are like the sour apple pears. I make sour apple uh, pear jam. So, gotta leave these in the, probably I'll do it today. So, it's all good. And there was another bag at the warehouse there. And the guy didn't mind me taking it. He knows me. He says, I normally come around on Mondays. So this is the other part of the watermelon. And I haven't collected the eggs yet. I'm gonna do that right now. And the, the, the chickens 
are just chowing away at this watermelon and this uh, supermarket lettuce and this, so this is just stuff that came out of the fridge like the trucks were loaded at 8 o'clock this morning and and then there's a bin there behind uh, behind the big tall refrigerator uh, warehouse there and there's all this fresh stuff and it was still cold and cool and everything like that and and the chickens just love it and they're picking away at it with the watermelon and the lettuce there and then let's see how many eggs you guys gave me today and Rudy and my roosters are now doing the birds and the bees so I gotta I gotta see here oh I got I got four I got four eggs here so one two three now I gotta do eeny meeny miny mo because you can't tell uh, which ones are uh, which ones I'm in my chicken house now you can't tell which ones are the fertile ones so you got to kind of guess or you put all of them I'm gonna put those ones in the incubator now see them look at these extra extra large eggs I mean there isn't an egg in the world like this you go to supermarkets they they don't even give eggs out like this these are huge look at the size of this look at the size this is my hand I got very big hands look at the size of that egg okay some days I get six I've had one day this week or like in a week I've had six and then I get five and if I probably wouldn't have brought the fresh fruit and vegetables right now I would have gotten five but I think four is enough for me I had ten chicks the dogs the wild dogs they they ate they ate five of them at least so not very happy about it but that's why I got ten chicks so there's more eggs in the incubator right now Hopefully I'm trying not to drop these eggs. I'm kind of carrying them in my shirt carefully here with this laptop in my hand. Okay. Turn it around a bit. Now you guys get back in there. Oh, you laid your eggs already. And off to the races they go. Normally when they lay their eggs, when, when they give me around four, four to six eggs, I let them out. So I collect their eggs and then I let them out. And then here they go, off to the off to the tiller grounds. There you guys go, start tillering. I need my bins filled up. I need good hay. I need manure in that hay. Oh, yeah. I gotta, I gotta just hold on one sec. I got. Otherwise, I'm gonna drop these eggs here in a minute. So I'm gonna drop these eggs. So I'm gonna, I'm going to put these eggs away for a second. Oh. Hold on one sec. I'm going to put my eggs away in the train. I lost the egg. Oh no. Oh, I lost one egg. Oh, that's too bad. Kind of trying to carry this at the same time. 
So they're in the incubator. They're, it was a small one anyway. And now they're at this one here. They're at the dog one. So they're chillering. And I got another Appy Mellis fur going here. Look at that, eh? And this, this hive here is more active, I think, than the one in the greenhouse. I just saw it because I was, I did the cleanup. I cleaned, I cleaned all my trees here yesterday. So, cause they grow, like olive trees are a bush also. They're both, they're olive trees and they're olive bushes. And as the years go on, it turns itself into a tree. But before it turns itself into a tree, it's a bush, right? And all like 10 branches can join into one big branch. So this is years and years. This is like over 30 or 50 years to grow an olive tree like this. Anyways, going back to my bees here. This looks like a more active hive. And here, this Appy Melisfera. And they're really humming, dinging away. So I'm contemplating and I'm kind of waiting. Should I wait and see how big the hives are going to get and then move it and combine both hives or uh, move move the hive over here now and see if they take up shop and uh, in this one if I move that hive over here and they take up shop in here and if I just move the hive in front they might kind of like that hive and just go inside and start doing their thing because bees, if they come in contact with a very good vicinity, you don't need to transfer them at all. They're, they'll just go into the hive itself. Melons are just coming along. It's great. So, a little bit of a recap of, of natural growing and stuff. And then, well, these ones now, you see... The, the queen is there. I saw the queen. I don't see her now. And there's there's some more that they've they've hatched. Some more, some more. Oh, the, oh, there's the queen. She's on top. The queen is the one who's on top in the left side there. There was a whole bunch of uh, eggs that she laid, and they've hatched now. And it's getting bigger. So there we go. There they go. Look at them go. Okay. Anyways. It's hot, hot, hot in here in this greenhouse. But... Oh, and I got some tomatoes coming along. These are the nice... These are the nice Roma uh, tomatoes you see here. These are the nice Roma. These are the, the sauce tomatoes. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna have a day where I'm gonna make some nice pasta and sauce. And that would be nice here. Here we go with the automatic sprinklers. Not friendly with laptops and cameras. At first I didn't like this Sinoc at all, but it all these irrigation systems you, it takes time to get used to them. And then they do everything for you. And then you just need to put some fertilizer. See, like here, I got uh, this ash, and there's some bones and stuff like that from when the dogs died. So it's all good. Okay, guys, come on, start tillering. See, and I got some bamboo. So this is my next project is the is uh i won't tell you what the next project is but it's something to do with bamboo so i do have several bam bamboo projects on my mind and i don't think i'm going to get to all of them because of my creative mind and everything but one thing is yeah for sure is to build some bamboo type trellis because these melons are coming up the tomatoes are all coming up um i got the beans are coming up and i want to build a better trellis there and maybe I'll tell you, I'm going to try to do a, a bamboo pergola on here and then try to, well, that's in the long run. So the dogs have had enough. 
Everybody's happy, happy. Gotta get my keys. Okay, well, we're just vlogging a bit today. Um, if you uh, like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. It's Tony and Lati, Casa Esmeralda, and uh, Pasticci, Italia, or the South Adriatic. Uh, thank you for those who have liked and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I wish you all a uh, pleasant and happy day. Have a nice summer. Enjoy the sunshine. Get down to the beach is what I did yesterday. Away from all the traffic and all the noise and all the craziness. So, okay, so I'm gonna head out and uh, I'm gonna start doing some canning, which is my next video. For today, uh, I'm looking for my cursor. Where's my cursor? There's my cursor. Okay, so take care and bye for now.